Hey everybody, this is Jason here with my wife Monica, and we're going to play Okami HD. Hello Internet! Okami! Story... The original didn't actually have... It was translated, but it was in Japanese, including the word. Long, long ago, a tiny hamlet known as Kamiki lay nestled in a grove of proud and beautiful cherry blossoms. Each and every tree around the quiet grove was honored as a god. However, the village was not without its dirt. To satiate the appetite of Orochi, a fearsome cave dwelling beast, a young maiden was offered as a sacrifice at the annual festival. With a body like a mountain and eight heads mounted on necks the size of tree trunks, its blood red eyes alone were said to curse anyone who gazed into them. No one dared disobey the horrific beast. When the night of the sacrifice drew near, a mysterious white wolf appeared outside the village. This wolf, its coat as brilliant as snow, uh -oh. Shiranui. was dubbed Shiranui, thank you honey. The wolf kept a watchful eye on anyone who ventured outside the village and made a habit of patrolling the streets at night. People assumed the wolf to be a familiar of Orochi. One villager took it upon himself to face the fearsome Shiranui. The warrior Nagi attempted many times to challenge Wolf. Right? But his attempts were thwarted by Shiranui's swift movements. Before long, the night of the accursed festival had arrived. A white queen herald heralded the coming sacrifice. Piercing the sky, the arrow sunk its shaft squarely into the home of Nami, the village's most beautiful maiden. Nagi, harboring a secret love for Nami, was enraged by this sign. Determined to put an end to her she once and for all, Nagi, Nagi, traveled to the beast cave in place of his beloved. I'm sorry, internet. I can't read. The moon cave in red, a place as dark as evil itself, served as Orochi's home. As Nagi stood bravely before the entrance, a beast appeared, eyes glowing crimson upon eight thrashing necks. Orochi stood tall before him, anxious for another sacrifice. Nagi leapt with incredible grace, swinging his blade valiantly. On and on he sliced, well into the moonless night. But Orochi's hide was like steel, the blade left nary a scratch. At long last, Nagi, his energy spent from the intense battle, dropped to his knees, fatigued and gasping for breath. He knew he was staring death in the It was then the wolf appeared. As if to protect Nagi, it stood its ground before Orochi. In the darkness of the cave, the wolf's coat shone brilliantly. Alas, it was Shiranui, the wolf, that dwelled outside the village. Bearing its fearsome claws, Shiranui leapt towards Orochi. Orochi reared its terrifying head, readying its fangs for battle. The two beasts struggled wildly, thrashing in the darkness. The 
mysterious and terrifying. The spectacle continued. Shiranui summoned gusts of divine wind to counter Orochi's flames. As the Orochi closed in on Shiranui, sharp claws listening. Gigantic tree suddenly sprouted forth, shielding the wolf. Shiranui fought gallantly to gain the upper hand. However, Orochi, protected by a mystic power, is not easily missing. Shiranui, covered in gashes, majestic coat dyed crimson, stood exhausted before the mighty Orochi. Orochi saw a chance to strike that would be the what would be the final blow. But Shiranui refused to give in with its last ounce of strength. The majestic wolf gazed heavenward and unleashed a mighty howl. Suddenly, the black clouds overhead dissipated. The light from above glinted off Nagi's sword as a beacon of hope. Guided by his sword, Nagi, who had been taking shelter in the shadows, stood proudly to face his adversary, channeling all his strength into his scarred and battered arms. He leapt ferociously toward Orochi, his sword, cork, sword poised high. The golden sword danced in his hands like a puppet on a string. One by one, Orochi's fearsome heads separated from their owner. Orochi's broken body collapsed in a lake of its own blood. In that instant, the curse that plagued the villagers was lifted. As the battle subsided, the sun shone once again in the sky. Shiranui had succumbed to Orochi's poison and struggled to breathe. Nagi scooped the beast into his arms and returned to Kamiki. When they reached the village, Shiranui was no longer moving. The village of Holder gently stroked the wolf's head. In response, Shiranui let out a hoarse and pitiful bark, then closed its eyes and drifted off, and off as if into slumber. English is a first language. Peace had at last returned to Kamiki Village. In honor of Shirinui's heroic exploits, the villagers erected a shrine and placed a statue of the wolf within it. Nagi's sword was christened Tsukuyomi Tsukuyomi and placed inside the moon cave. The villagers all looked forward to an age of endless peace. Good game, guys. Oh. However, this is not the end of the story. There's more to this tale than most people know. 100 years have passed since Nagi and Shiranui's heroic exploits. It happened so quickly that no one in the village even took notice.
game looks super good on the PlayStation 2. It looks okay on the Wii. So much better now. It's always a pretty good experience. There's a tree. Oh. <laughs> and there's a she. You have to roll through the same ones. Right. There's a lady. Right. That's funny. It's a tree, actually. It's not grassy. Oh, this is just like the ancient prophecy of you. A light hearted of you. Part of the myth of a lunch rusty is there's a mirror that she has. And there's this whole story with her going in this cave and the villagers are like, we need the sun, so they like lure her out of the cave with this mirror and she keeps it or whatever. And it's one of the three um, royal items in Japan. This is a mirror. Okay. It's a sword and one is this looks kinda of like a bean, almost like a half the type. The yin yang symbol looks like half one. Mm -hmm. It's about that. And then the three weapons that Monster also uses in this game are a sword, a sheet, the, the mirror, and then the mm -hmm. the Say the Thank you. Amaterasu Okami. Amaterasu Okami. Okami means great guy. He draws super heavily off of traditional Japanese woodcuts. I have a ton of the stuff in this game as a reference to that some of the pagans in your book. I like the historical references, not the budget. Yeah. <laughs> 
So it gets into it later. But, um, in Japanese folklore, there's these little people. Yes. And you like build like we build. Like, oh. He's a representative. One of him. And you get into it. Well, and uh, that's the uh, Super World Arya team. Yeah. Although Arya is actually a punch. A punch man. It's the same thing. So cool. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, oh. 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 You look just like a statue. Stop. Game over. <laughs> <laughs> The dog. Take a long break. I'm just going to be able to do that now. All Japanese is for notes. So I know. I know. Hence <laughs> my embarrassment. I need to sound it out. Is it easy? Well, yes. I just have problems with a lot of vowels to that. Matras, he never talks. Okay. He's seen as the narrator. Oh, good. <laughs> That's a serious fruit. Draw something wolf, you can dig holes. Uh-huh. And you can <laughs> And it costs you again. Yeah. No, that just tells you. Oh, okay. It just brings up the... Uh, you need to get it. It used to be a minigame for that loading thing, but it's so fast in the PS3 you can't do it anymore. <laughs> Oh, right. it's all inverted. <laughs> Let's see if we can fix that. How about controller tip? It took 19 minutes to get through the entire intro <laughs> movie. Kick us 
such pretty dust for this game. You can wall jump? You can also later you can like double jump. Never have Matrasi walks on the ground. Let's grow. Oh that's cool. Can't handle it later. You gotta hold it up. Don't break the horse. What? Oh. There's a treasure. Let me break it. It's just for the Seriously, like you're just you're making grass for you. There you go. I don't think it stays. It doesn't. Close to the screen. Ah, <laughs> So this is intro to the main big part of the game, which is using the brush. That's not me. Okay. Yes. So it's just a demonstration of how you can paint in. Mm -hmm. You have to learn. And so you can paint the vertical line. Vertical line. There's different ones. You fill in things. The big one is cut. Do some other stuff. Okay. Master all 1300 feet in you. You don't have to get all along You turn so much! Just you. <laughs> Four stars somehow. There's one missing. That's all we have to do. You have to paint. I'm oh, just doing it. I was like, why can't I control it? Yeah, because oh, you're not a god. Oh, man. It's right, little guy. This is for me. This is nice to Huzzah! Thank you, dragons. Uh. I hope this is a good thing. Yomigami. It's like... Yomi are like de dead spirits almost. They're like a bazillion Yomi. And they wander around everywhere. It's like the god of Restoration. Is there like all parts of the much in this game? Like these two. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah, those are the techniques. First thing in the game. You got a trophy for doing the tutorial.
So a number of times I've done this and I've painted like a hole in the middle and it's going to be really sad it's really long time. Oh no! <laughs> See if I can do it with that. There we go. The little guy does not figure it out for a while. It looks like a badger! Or it's a mouse. With wings! It's a hamster with wings! Tachigami. Tachi's a sword, so he's a uh, sword. Ah, uh, yeah. His tail is so cute, oh my gosh! Probably the most important. 
we'll be cutting on some books. This So you can use this to like cut everything and everything all the time. Almost everything, that's certainly as I can. So now you're gonna cut through all the bones to be able to escape the game. See the way the brush thing works is if you completely use the other stuff. Oh, yes. And you lose your power. What? You completely use up all of your magical brush. You lose your power until three of them recharge. Okay. How much are you going to get through? None, because that can be the real up to the time. After you recharge your ink, after you like, use it all up, and then you're hot, you will fill up three pots again, and you get your power. Oh. Surprising it happens with these pots. Okay. Solar energy is Okay. Solar energy and ink. Black and white, and yang. Uh, so, the, your tortoise shell is your shield? It's a mirror. Shield. And you use it to smack people so you can cut them with your shield. Alright! Six part combo. Uh, Every time we get new foods, we'll say that, but after that, Never used that one before. <laughs> so you get Yen to buy stuff and things, but there's also these things called them. They're like monster things, they're blue. Okay. And they're like the most important currency in really, but you have to do certain things to get them. You, two potatoes. They're the most important currency. Yeah, because you use them to take like, a pretty much. Side paint. Um, you can upgrade the paint, the, the brushes, the brush techniques. But I don't think it uses the 